This is an interactive video of English aiming to help the learners practice tense. For that purpose, MCQs or multiple choice questions from the different aspects of tense have been prepared to make the learning a fun. Hi, I'm Sanjeev and you all are welcome to my channel. While watching the questions on the screen, I would strongly recommend you to think about the correct answer. Then I will tell you the correct answer as well as I will briefly explain the correct answer. Here comes your first question on the screen. See always dot 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 to temple on foot. What do you think which of those Bob tenses will best complete the answer? You have got 10 seconds to answer the question. The answer is B. She always goes to temple on foot. This is an example of simple present and it is used for habitual action. The key word here is always. Going to temple on foot is her habitual action. Since she is the singular subject, it takes the singular verb in simple present. Now question number two. I did a poker tomorrow. I have bought the ticket. Think about the correct answer. The right answer is B. I am visiting Pokhara tomorrow. I have bought the ticket. This is an example of present continuous. Since the ticket is ready, Visiting Pokhara tomorrow is a fixed plan. For a fixed future plan, instead of future tense, we use present continuous. Question number three, quality did that for itself. What do you think is the right answer? Your time begins now. Well, the correct answer is B. Quality speaks for itself. This is an example of simple present, and it is used to convey proverb. As quality is uncountable noun, it takes singular verb. Question number four. I have been learning English dot, 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 10 years. Supply the right answer in the gap within 10 seconds. And the correct answer is A. I have been learning English for 10 years. This is an example of present perfect continuous. It is used to refer to an action that started in the past, but it has continued up to the present. The key word here is per, which is used with period of time. Question number five. I did adopt food before he came to my house. What can be the correct answer? And the right option is D. I had prepared food before he came to my house. This is an example of past perfect. In the case of two past events that come one after another, we use past perfect for First past event. Question number six. I can't open the door. I did it up the key. Will you please guess the right answer? Well, the right answer is C. I can't open the door. I've lost the key. It is an example of present perfect. It is used for explanation. The second sentence functions like the reason clause of the first sentence. I can't open the door because I have lost the key. Question number seven. If you drop it, eat the dot. You have got 10 seconds to come up with the right answer.
And the correct answer is C. If you drop it, it will break. It's an example of simple future. In conditional sentence, if the if clause is given in present tense, we use simple future for main clause, except universal truth or scientific fact. Question number eight. He did not Japan by six o'clock tomorrow. Fill in this gap with the correct option and your time begins here. And the correct answer is D. He will have reached Japan by six o'clock tomorrow. It is an example of future perfect. In the case of future tense with the prepositions like by, before, within, we use future perfect. Question number nine. I will come home when I did the work. What can be the correct answer here? The right answer is A. I will come home when I finish the work. It's an example of simple present. In the case of two future events, we do not normally use will in time clause, if clause, and when clause. Instead of using future tense, we use simple present. Question number 10. The holiday da -da -da next week. What do you think is the right answer here? Think about it within 10 seconds. The right answer is A. The holiday begins next week. It's an example of simple present. For scheduled future event, we use simple present instead of future tense. This brings us to the end of the video. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get notification for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.